Now I'm going to go over how to change some of the screen and resolution settings and things like that for your PS5 in the settings. Um, we're going to check the resolution, frame rates. Um, I'm going to talk about HDR and how to adjust that and change the display area. To go to get to these settings, you want to go ahead and launch your PS5, get into your profile here, and go to the settings, which is in the top right-hand corner. You want to go down to screen and video. The first thing we're going to check is the video output information. So click video output, then video output information. And here you can see um, what the automatic settings on the PS5 have done to set your resolution and your hertz and everything like that. So you can see my resolution there at the top is set to 4k you can see the color format is rgb um, and you can see hdr down at the bottom is not supported on this monitor that i'm using right now so it's not on so you can see some of those here right off the bat um, if you're using the cable that came with the ps5 and you have it hooked up to your tv it's probably going to add a, automatically choose the best settings for you um, and probably the highest resolution and frame rates and stuff for you as well. But if you want to manually change any of this, you can. And we're going to go back a page. And here under video output, you can adjust the resolution. You see, I have it set to automatic. And you can go ahead and change the resolution to what you would like. And you can see what is not supported by the TV or monitor you have the PS5 plugged into. You can also adjust the 4K video transfer rate um, if you want to. I just leave it on automatic because that's been working for me. Um, but if you need to adjust it for screen flickering and things like that, you can go ahead and adjust it here if you want to. You can see HDR. If I click on it, um, I'm going to try to set it to automatic, but it's going to tell me that my TV or in this case the monitor I have doesn't support that. So that's why it's set to off. If your TV did support that, um, it would have set it to automatic. But if for some reason it didn't, you can go ahead and manually change it here. The other thing you can do is adjust the HDR, which again, I can't do because this monitor doesn't support it. But basically what this looks like is it pulls up a picture of a uh, sun kind of, and it asks you to adjust the brightness basically. Um, so that you can barely see that picture of the sun anymore. Um, so you can kind of go ahead and eyeball it and adjust it to what looks best to you. So you can go and adjust it here manually if you want to. Um, it does usually, um, during this first uh, setup process for your PS5, when you first unbox it and plugged it into your TV, it'll make you go through that during the initial setup if your TV supports HDR. Um, so if you did that, but you want to go and change it, you can adjust that here. The next thing is deep color output. Um, it displays finer grades of color. Um, HDR has to be on, it looks like, um, but I can still turn that to automatic, but it probably won't do anything because HDR is not on. So I'm just gonna leave it on off for now. Um, and RGB range, you can go ahead and change this if you want to, to whatever looks best for you. Again, I'm just gonna leave it at automatic, but those are a lot of the, you know, settings you can go and adjust and depending on what quality of a monitor or tv you have um, you might have more options um, than i do here um, for especially for like resolutions and things like that um, but you'll see those and what is supported in the menus here next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to screen and adjust the display area so when we're here, we're just going to use the top and bottom buttons on the D-pad and you can see it's adjusting the screen area. So if for some reason when you've got this, your PS5 all set up, it doesn't look like the image is using your full screen on your monitor or TV, you can come here and adjust it. Or if it looks like things are getting cut off, um, it may be set to too big of a screen and you can come and adjust it here. And when you have it to where you want it, where all the circles kind of meet up on the edges, just click OK. And you've adjusted the display area.
The next thing um, in this is dim screen while inactive. Um, so this basically helps protect against burn-in on your monitor or TV uh, screen burn-in. So you can say, after five minutes of no one touching the controller or anything, I want you to dim the screen or after 15, 30, or don't dim. I don't recommend don't dim um, because there's going to be that one time you forget to turn off your TV and your PlayStation and walk out of the house for a while and then you're going to have pretty bad screen burn in, especially if you're using an OLED TV or something like that. So um, this is where it defaults is 15 minutes, um, but you can go ahead and change that to whatever you want. Again, just do be careful. So those are a lot of the um, screen and kind of video output settings you can go ahead and adjust on the PS5. Hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.